Hey all, and welcome to week 10 of Hardly a Week. It is Monday the 11th of March, and we're blazing through the start of the year, really. Um, quickly approaching the first quarter. And with that, we'll jump straight into three things that I picked out this week that I think will be interesting for you to have a look at, have a read, and I've also got a video from YouTube uh, to have a look at. So with that, we'll jump straight into it. So the first one is OSINT for Instant Response Part 2. Obviously, this came out this week. I missed part one, but you can click here and go back and have a look at it. But also, it's really interesting. It's just really, it's another skill set and having a collection of other tools and websites that you can use to go look things up when you're doing instant response. Obviously, one of the main things is reading technical blogs, particularly if you're uh, against like a ransomware campaign, that kind of thing. Um, but this keeps going through other stuff. And if I quickly have a look at, because I had a look at part two already, but it's talking about metadata there. And we can have a quick look at case one. Okay, so it's talking about misconfiguration using Shodan. Okay, cool. So I wonder if like they suggested part two there. Part three will be metadata and denial of service via domain account lockouts. Okay, cool. So this could be an interesting one to have a look at. Black Hills is also just like a really good company for this this kind of stuff, like learning and, and picking up new techniques, especially if you're new to the industry. Next I have is just one, because I've been talking to a few people late, lately around people in the industry and particularly even people that have been around for a long time. Like the industry is so big now and there's so much information to always learn. So having just a breadth of knowledge across a lot of things. And if you're not working in instant response, you might not have come across this before, but essentially initial access brokers and what they are. Uh, so high level, they are the people that will break into networks, generally really good at external pen testing or red teaming and stealing valid accounts. And then what they will do is, because that is less risky in the eyes of the law, it's still illegal, but less risky, they will then sell those accounts online to ransomware gangs or even APTs and that kind of thing. So that's what initial access brokers means. Um, and it's usually why, like if you do an instant response case, you will see, uh, usually you won't see how the accounts were compromised. You will see the threat actors drop into the network with valid accounts. And this is just because you, these initial account access brokers would have stolen those credentials like months ago and then sold them online. Um, and most people don't have logs that will go far enough back to try and figure out how those accounts got compromised. Um, obviously there's lots of like security and depth recommendations that you can do to try and stop this kind of thing um, and monitoring also. The last thing I have is uh, international threat actors are targeting children to steal money from banks and major corporations. This title just kind of like interested me. Um, targeting children, especially as, I guess, kids these days, like as young as primary school, have smart devices and would be linking their bank accounts. Like I've seen ads as well for like accounts where kids do like chores around the house and parents can pay them into that, that account and it teaches them like valuable lessons around money and all that kind of stuff. But they are exposing kids to having online bank accounts now. Uh, I remember when I first started school, I had a checkbook or not a checkbook, but like a deposit book for my bank account. And you would literally take money in and they would collect it and take it to the bank and you would start collecting that way. But um, online banking wasn't a thing when I was in primary school. So yeah, really interesting that uh, kids are now being the target. Um, I think especially this could be slightly worrying, like maybe as parents are like investing more or, or not investing, but putting away more for their, their children for their futures, particularly around the current economy kind of thing. So um, I'm interested in watching this one. It's 42 minutes, so not too long, um, but I'll be watching this one tonight. But with that, that's it this week. Uh, I had the competition announcements and oh, I can't remember who, but I gave away two tickets. So that happened last week. Um, I think, was I even, did I even post an episode last week? I think it was late because I might've been in Adelaide, uh, for work. But yeah. Uh, if you want more of this, make sure you check out my YouTube channel. I've got a website, hardlyadequate.com as you guys, a lot of you guys already know. 
Uh, I will be putting out more content. We've got forensic focus, more technical content, more fitness content uh, coming. So yeah, if you like any of this, like, subscribe, please post the links, share it as much as possible because um, I want to grow this channel lots and lots. So thanks everyone that does listen every week and I will catch you all next week.